If you're unsure on how to read your prescription, ordering glasses online can be very daunting. Here's the first thing you need to know. OD is your right eye and OS is your left eye. These may also be shown as R or L. The next SPH stands for sphere. This number tells you the strength of your lens. There'll be a plus sign if you're long-sighted and a negative sign if you're short-sighted, followed by a number. The larger the number, the more strength required to correct your vision. If you have astigmatism, then you'll have numbers for the sill and the axis. Astigmatism is where the eye is shaped more like a rugby ball than a football. The sill indicates how much power is needed to correct astigmatism. The higher the number, the more astigmatism you have. The axis represents the angle of your astigmatism from 1 to 180 degrees. The add or near value is any additional strength required for reading or close work. If you need reading, computer, varifocal or bifocal lenses, this should be listed on your prescription. Most prescriptions end here. However, occasionally there may be a prism value present. This is the prismatic power used to correct vision displacement. This happens when your eyes don't align correctly, creating two images instead of one, making your vision blurry. Base is the direction the base of the prism needs to be facing to correct your vision. This will be written as up, down, in or out. If your prescription is written in any way that differs from this, please do contact us and we will happily explain the details. We strongly advise that you use our prescription upload option so that a member of our team can ensure the correct entry of your prescription. A value that may not be listed on your prescription is your pupillary distance or PD value. This is the distance between the centre of one pupil to the other. If your prescription does not have your PD on it, don't worry. For more information, you can watch our video on how to measure your PD value. This can be found in the Explore tab on the top navigation.